welcome back. I hope everyone had a good break. What we are going to get into today and what you're doing for pumps at four is actually programming at the ring zero level. So you're going to be writing a very simple kernel and making some changes to it and understanding at a deep level some of the things that are going on inside the kernel. Before we get into that, I want to do a little bit of review. Everyone should have received an email with your grades and some comments on exam one and the problem sets that you've done so far. Problem set four will be posted soon. If you have an idea, I know one team just talked to me. If you have an idea for something else to do, this is the week to talk to me. If it gets after this week, then you're too late to do something else instead of problem set four. But I think problem set four will be, be very interesting. But if you want to have more time for your project and you have an idea for something you're excited to do, definitely talk to me about that before the end of this week. One of the questions on the follow-up to problem set three was about when you want exam two. One of you did take me up on the offer of you follow plan ahead scheduling, so does not have to worry about exam two. So congratulations to him. The rest of you, the majority of the answer is actually consistent with what I think is the right thing to do. So I can pretend to be following democracy. We will have an exam approximately over those dates. I will clarify the details of that soon. Some of it will be very much similar to exam one. Questions from the notes of the classes that you've seen. So those are definitely things that if there are questions on those notes that you don't feel like you could answer well in an exam, it would be good to discuss those on the website or raise those questions with me and we can go over those. The other thing that will be part of exam two is some questions about the kernel code that you're working on for problem set four. So part of what we'll be using exam two to do is to make sure people are understanding some things about the kernel code because a lot of what you're going to do for problem set four is really understanding this code. You'll be writing some things on your own and extending it in some ways, but there are lots of parts to it that if you had to build them yourself, you would spend many hours of time figuring out what ends up being one instruction that goes into the code and figuring out the right thing, you know, pouring through the ARM manuals and various other documentation online. And that is actually a very rewarding experience, but it's also something that probably would not be a good thing to, to force everyone to do in an assignment. So we will have some questions on exam two to see that you, you actually understand that code and you'll have time in class today, starting class today, and class Thursday and some later classes where we're going to go through some parts of it. The other thing I want to mention after class today, so in this very room, you don't even have to give up your seat. If you have a good one, you can stay where you are. Gary McGraw will give a talk. And Gary was a founder of a company that's in Northern Virginia that does software security consulting. Companies hire them to figure out how to make their code more robust and especially more secure. He will have a lot of good stories to tell about that. And you should also take advantage of the opportunity to ask him why he lets these companies continue to write code in obsolete languages that don't provide memory safety and type safety. Because part of his philosophy is about designing things to be secure from the beginning rather than trying to patch them. One could make a pretty good argument that if you're starting with the wrong tools, which I guess he's pointing to over here, if you're starting with the wrong tools, you're already off to a bad start if your goal is to build something secure. He's a really entertaining speaker, so I encourage you to stay around for that. I would expect you'll learn something, but if you don't learn something, you'll at least definitely be entertained by him. The other thing I want to talk about today, so the Turing Award winner was announced today. Leslie Lamport won the 2013 Turing, Turing Award, but the one that was announced today. We're very soon going to talk about one of the things that he did, probably in class a week from today. He did a lot of the groundbreaking work in how to make distributed systems or multi-processing systems reliable and robust and develop algorithms for doing things like where you've got multiple threads, you want to do mutual exclusion. And we've talked about the library abstractions that Rust provides. You've used the RW arc and maybe the mutex arc and probably at least those two you've used in your programs. And mutual exclusion is this problem if you've got multiple threads wanting to access the same resource. And the main thing that Leslie Limport is winning the Turing Award for was coming up with ways to provide cure security doing concurrent systems. And one of the things he did was solving this basic mutual exclusion problem that Dexter originally posed. So this is his paper from 1974 about solving this problem of you've got multiple threads wanting to access the same resource. Is there any way to do that without having some primitive that already gives you mutual exclusion. And it seems almost impossible, and a lot of people thought it was before he came up with it. And this is only two pages, so 
people often think you know, these big contributions have to be 100-page papers that you'll spend months poring over. This is a two-page one that you could still spend months poring over to really understand it but it's only two pages. We will talk about this, uh, both about the problem and his solution and other solutions to it. It would have been maybe good to rearrange things to talk about today, since he was announced as winning the Turing Award today, but I want to get you started on kernel programming today. So we will talk about that next week.